All right, then let's end the video with the two most common questions that we get. Uh, the first one being tax classes. People make uh, in the comments and in uh, meetings with us, they make a huge deal uh, out of it if they're uh, tax class, uh, not if they're single, uh, but if they're married. And especially if uh, their uh, spouse is maybe not living in Germany or in the EU. So can you can you help the people choose uh, the right tax class? First, we have to say that choosing the tax class does not have an influence on your final taxes, except that if you are married, you have tax class 404. Then, and you are working the whole year, no other income, then, as we said in the beginning, no requirement to file a tax return, right? Because then basically every the partner is treated as a single tax deduction, you are done, right? So if you choose tax class 3, 5, then you are required to file a tax return, which means that choosing the tax class is basically a cash flow topic, mm -hmm. but not a topic about final tax liability. Okay. Just let's, one more, let's get things straight for people. A married couple with four and four is basically as two singles with one and one. That's right. Okay, just to make sure everyone gets it. Now, um, and for them, it might be advantageous to find a tax return. So let's say one has a lot of deductions, which lowers the tax rate. And then if it, then you have to basically look. And it, that's what a tax advisor would do. A tax advisor would file the returns and would look what is more beneficial, a joint, filing a joint return or filing a separate return. Mm -hmm. And that, again, that is then depending on, on the uh, different circumstances, right? So like a, a clerk, so a person living in a, or, or working for a governmental institution has other deductions as somebody with usual employment, but the tax advisor would, do, would look at what is best. Right. Okay. So if your partner is living abroad, right? So then, in special circumstances, you can choose tax class three for yourself. I mean, there is no tax class for the other partner because he has no yes. employment in Germany, so it, that, that goes into nothing, and that is why it's complicated. And it's basically only pro uh, possible if you if first you are EU citizen, second your partner is living in another EU or EWR country. Okay. Right. So then it's possible. And then again, you are required to file a tax return because then the foreign income of the other partner has to be declared as well. It will not be tax. It's just important to determine the tax rate. That's important. That's a progression clause we talked earlier about. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. And uh, with filing the tax return, then also you need a confirmation about the income of the other partner from the other country and so on. Right? Okay. So basically, if somebody from India is watching, where most of our uh, expats are coming from, and they came to Germany, they're married, uh, and they came to Germany this year, they want to file the tax declaration, but the spouse is maybe coming only next year, th there's no no tax class 3 for these. No, and then, that, and then that first year, they have to file as a single person. Okay. I mean, important is that if the intention is anyway, that then the spouse comes over to Germany, and if she comes, or he, uh, 31st of December, that's enough. One day is enough. Ah, a little tax trick, okay. Yeah, that's a tax trick, right? So it has to be at least one day resident of Germany. And then you would be getting ta the tax benefits basically for the entire year. That is right. So then you can then then you are able to file a joint tax return for this couple, right? And then if the uh, the spouse didn't have any income in that year, so then there would be then a huge tax refund. Okay. So bring your spouse uh, <laughs> by December thirty first instead of January one. Yeah, the latest. I mean, of course, a little yeah. bit earlier, it's better, but yeah, one day is enough. If people have further uh, tax questions, uh, Dirk, how can you help? 
Um, I mean, of course, you have to contact me, right? Uh, and then basically what I uh, what I do is I conduct a, a Zoom meeting for a quarter of an hour to get to know the person, the uh, the requirements and uh, the topic and the expectations. And then tax advice has a lot to do with trust, right? So both parties, so you and I, have to say, okay, we can work together, right? It does fit, right? And I have to trust in that person, right? And then uh, based then on the information I get from the interview, then I can basically uh, talk about the, the process, uh, how it works, and of course, also about the fees. What does it cost? Mm 